Now, for the balance of the hour, he joins us graciously. He's going to be back on with Mike Adams. is filling in tomorrow, but then I'm back Tuesday. Promise my children I'm taking them fishing and taking them uh, wakeboarding. So it's going to happen. Didn't happen a few weeks ago. It's happening tomorrow. I'm taking off tomorrow. But the, the great Mike Adams is going to be here, and he'll be back with Wayne tomorrow in a more in-depth discussion. Hopefully, this will be in the press by then. But I noticed on an article at Infowars.com today that you can see right now. We can put it on screen and show TV viewers, but radio listeners just go there. We're about to go to break, Wayne. I just want to introduce this. That there was uh, a, a London Guardian Observer, that's the Twin Papers, big article about the EU working with the U.S. to spy illegally. Well, that came out in the EU Commission a decade ago. That came out in James Bamford's book 12 years ago. You know, the guy that ran Nightline had a best-selling book. ABC News was behind it. So... Wayne Madsen talked about that. He worked at the NSA. He's testified before Congress on this and other matters. He's written for the biggest publications in the U.S. We've been having him on. Nobody else has. So the Guardian, who's been really on this, interviews him. D notices that were already in the press last week that they'd been sent out to shut down stuff in the Guardian. We now learn it's Wayne Madsen. Now, do you think that should be news that a U.S. former NSA guy, journalist, award-winning, got shut down? Do you think that should be news? No, it's not news. It disappeared and the Google cache. I saw the Google cache this morning, read it, had our guys post the Google cache on our site, show the articles there, still saved. Will they shut down Infowars.com? I've never seen the Google cache shut down like this. They don't want to, and again, they didn't retract something. They just removed it, but then started disinfo campaigns on the web against Wayne Madsen. They are scared. Why? Because he's doing it right. He is blowing the whistle on what's hidden in plain view. He has credibility, so now they want to assassinate his character. We'll get more into that. But, Wayne, bottom line, you talked to the Guardian slash Observer. They admitted they were leaned on. Well, I, did, I talked to the uh, Observer, and uh, they had uh, vetted this through their uh, legal counsel. Uh, I assume uh, all their editors uh, signed off on it. They got everybody's chop, and uh, right as the um, uh, uh, the the observer actually the print edition the first edition already ran and was sent out to the news agents uh the second edition the story disappeared from the front page of the paper edition and of course uh first if you went to the guardian site it said uh the site the link is down because of an investigation whatever that means and then now the now it says the site is uh the link is broken so uh for all purposes the uh story uh, was removed. And then they disappeared it off the Google Wayback Machine. Unprecedented. Yeah, I mean, I uh, when, when I uh, put the word out to some of my friends and colleagues, I said something's going on. A lot of them grabbed it and, and saved it because um, uh, this is uh, rather unusual, even for some seasoned journalists that I spoke to. Now, for those that don't know, we're going to come back and give you the floor as best I can. This is just such a big deal. It's hard to not add points. The big enchilada here, from my perspective, we'll get your take on this when we come back, is that you don't want to go to prison because you were, you know, a pretty high-level guy at the NSA. Y you work up on Capitol Hill. Anybody can watch C-SPAN and see a national security hearings. You'll see you there reporting. And at the National Press Club, you're a smart guy. You're going off what's already been admitted before in EU commissions. Which, the, I noticed articles saying the EU's mad at the U.S. over spying. They're, of course, running it all, basically. That's what you expose. That's why they're upset. So this is, this is admitted, already declassified info being censored now and a journalist being censored. This is a big deal, folks, for freedom of the press. We'll be back with Wayne Madsen of WayneMadsenReport.com. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happened. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show. I also want to ask him about Michael Hastings and what happened there. The family does think that he was killed. And I've confirmed that. Talked to him. Talked to his best buddy in the Army uh, and um, Sergeant Biggs. We're going to get to all that. But, Wayne, you heard what I said before the break. For me, this is a huge deal that 
that you are a, a member of the press. You've written for the biggest newspapers and magazines in the country. People can go look up your bio. You've testified to Congress, main committees many times. You were in the NSA, in the Naval War College before that. Uh, uh, you were in NSA security. That's how you know about the Q group. What do you think it is that got this censored? Because I guess you have broken the Q group. Uh, I, you called it a kind of a in, internal Praetorian SS to persecute whistleblowers. I mean, is that something? Because the rest of the stuff you brought out, and, and I want you to go over the EU Commission news, Bamford's book. I mean, this stuff has been out. I know that's where my sources are. That's how I knew all this. Guests like you. I mean, you're going about this smart from other people I've talked to that are former government, you're talking about what is already out there but not really known. Is that why they did this D-notice, unprecedented, to shut down uh, what you were saying? I think uh, that may be part of it also. I think they just can't handle all the leaks. There's another set of uh, leaks in The Guardian today from Snowden about how they were bugging uh, embassies. And this, if he had access to that, this kind of proves um, the point I was making earlier, I believe Snowden was probably working for the Special Collection Service, which is a hybrid CIA FBI operation. It does exactly that. They put bugs in embassies in Washington, elsewhere, New York, uh, overseas, and, and now he's released a bunch of that type of information. Uh, but um, Basically, what I experienced yesterday when this story came out is a little bit like what Glenn Greenwald has been facing. Um, all of a sudden, there was this uh, sort of uh, attack pack uh, on the Internet, people uh, contacting all these websites, flooding the uh, Twitter with all these uh, tweets, um, talking about previous stories I had written. And if that was the intention to shoot the messenger, I think it backfired on him. Uh, a lot of, there were a lot of references to the stories I did in Chicago about Obama's um, sexual orientation. And um, where is he right now? He's in South Africa. He's had a very tough time of it in, on his African trip, trying to convince certain African countries to uh, uh, provide more in the way of uh, uh, rights for gays, when in fact Africa is going the opposite direction. It's not a popular cause in Africa. So. He's got egg all over his face. Well, I got to say this: when they rolled out two little kids at the gay lesbian event, I don't even get into this issue, and I know you're not, you know, anti-gay or anything. Uh, but I mean, they rolled out little kids at the gay lesbian event to introduce it, and they're talking about kids' cartoons. I mean, if heterosexuals were involving kids on TV and cartoons sexualization, it'd be called really creepy. Uh, you know, if Calvin Klein has teenagers half naked, it's called creepy. What's this thing with kids? And I got to say, at that gay lesbian event. He was prancing around on the stage, and, and you know, whatever. The point is, that's blackmail material. That's why we're concerned about it, not about his sexual preference. Tell people your intel on that. Um, you did this investigation uh, into Obama and uh, Larry Sinclair and stuff. Yeah, I mean, I, I did not believe Larry Sinclair at, at first, and I, I wrote that, and he told me, he said I was pretty tough uh, on him, and... Uh, uh, but when I went to Chicago, I started hearing the same stories. So I looked into it a lot further. Now, here, here's the thing that, you know, uh, is amazing. When Michael Isikoff got the story on Monica Lewinsky in the blue dress and all that business, you know, uh, that was mainstream media all over that story. When it's Obama, no, it's relegated to the, you know, offbeat sites, the, the non-mainstream media sites. But what has happened here by by these attack dogs coming after me because of other stories I had written, which have nothing to do with the NSA story, by the way. Now, the, the, the bit about Obama's history uh, in Chicago and, 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 and people saying he's gay is in some of the biggest newspapers in Europe. That would have not happened had they not uh, taken the avenue, gone down the avenue they did because... And they now, had these NSA defense yeah. people, you know, war college people and stuff have come out against you. They're, they're really concerned about this. Oh, yeah. I mean, one of, the, one of the central figures is a professor at the Naval War College where I had done some postgraduate work in a continuing education course. I've got the certificate, and I think it's kind of unusual that, you know, you'd have somebody on the U.S. government payroll using his affiliation with the War College, attacking me uh, like he's on duty. It was almost like this guy's on duty because it went all afternoon, all evening, all into the wee hours of the morning. Uh, look, we know we know from Cass Sunstein 
and what the uh, NSA is doing through Cyber Command, that they have these sock puppets out there to, you know, destroy the message, money the waters. Oh, and, no, they admit Cyber Command yeah. has hired hundreds of private companies, yeah. PR companies, to attack people. It came out on the National Guard in Katrina, yeah. putting whole teams for two years on one woman from the state who criticized uh, you know, the work they'd done. I mean, we know what's going on, but expanding on this, I mean, Wayne, you're always not making a big deal about yourself. You broke some major news that was hiding in plain view about the EU and, and what, InfoPol 9 and then the GS, whatever it is, was it GS5 there uh, with uh, the uh, British spy network. Uh, break down this because they're in the news going, how dare America spy on us when they're all involved in the same system. So so break down yeah. what was in the piece that they're right. so scared of. Well, what, what was in the piece was basically we know that Ed Snowden has talked about third party relationships of, of NSA and also second party. Uh, there's a recent revelation in Spiegel, their Spiegel yesterday, where he's talking about uh, third parties. He cites Germany as being one of the countries. Um, it, this was being lost because this was being looked into uh, by the European Union and, and other governments in 1999-2000. In A report was issued. 9-11 comes along and all of this is forgotten. You know, it just goes down the memory hole. I, I actually testified before the EU uh, Parliamentary Commission. They came to Washington, D.C., and I, I told them you know, uh, what I knew about the echelon and the system by which they uh, shared information, and, and that wound up in a report. But here's what came out of the uh, Snowden revelations, that GCHQ, which is uh, Britain's uh, NSA equivalent and partner, uh, they and NSA were jointly tapping the transatlantic uh, 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 cable, cable. Uh, in Cornwall, and it comes from uh, Denmark down to Germany, the Netherlands, Belgium, and France, and then it hops over the English Channel, goes over to Cornwall, and then it heads over to Tuckerton, New Jersey. They were sucking everything off this cable, email, phone calls, you name it, the metadata stuff, uh, a system called uh, at, at Cornwall uh, Tempora. Uh, and what and, and then the Germans, Angela Merkel and the French started to get on their high horse. What uh, here's Britain once again uh, acting as America's Trojan horse. When in fact, I pointed out that Germany, as a third party country to the NSA uh, SIGINT relationship, only the English speaking countries are second party. So, so the third parties are NATO allies that don't speak English Germany, Denmark, the Netherlands, Italy, Spain. Uh, and Japan and South Korea and Asia. Uh, I pointed out that for years, uh, the Germans and the Spanish jointly tapped the trans-Mediterranean, trans-Atlantic uh, uh, cable in southern Spain and Conil de la Frontera. And, and then they pull it all together. Different yeah. Yeah. So NSA. <laughs> Yeah, so they all tap different things and then pool it all. That came out when you testified before the EU. That came out in Bamford's book. He was the main news guy at Nightline. This is a fact. You put it back out there and your article disappears. Incredible, ladies and gentlemen. The important thing about the Pro One filter today is that the material we use for removing fluoride and other heavy metals now we'll remove the latest form of fluoride called hydrofluorosilicic acid. There's no other fluoride reduction filter out there that will remove that type of fluoride. And it's extremely important because today we're hearing more and more cities are using that form of fluoride. We've been having medication forced on us through the water system for quite a while. Most people don't realize it. Most people don't realize the negative effects of fluoride. There's a wide range of health effects that are attributed to fluoride. Bottom line, why should somebody get this new Pro One Pro Pure filter? The reason to buy the Pro One, it's an all-in-one filter. It's convenient, easy to use. It doesn't require the add-on fluoride filter. And in addition, this filter removes the latest form of fluoride called hydrofluorosilicic acid. So bottom line, what you're saying is, hey, the Europe and others act all holier than thou. They're all putting in the same systems. They're all pooling it. They're all sharing it. In fact, I've read, I've had Bamford on from ABC News that he broke that they'll spy. Of course, you were there. They'll spy 
they'll have the Brits spy on the Americans and the Americans spy on the Brits, vice versa, because it's so illegal, it creates more plausible deniability, and that way you're not listening to your own cousin. Is that accurate? Yeah, not only the Brits do it for the Americans and vice versa, but the Canadians do it for the Americans and the Brits and vice versa. The Australians do it for the Americans and the Brits. So and vice foreigners versa. are yeah. listening to our phones, not oh, just yeah. our criminal government. So, so there's the big right. bombshell. What, right. in total, what do you make of this whole NS thing, NSA thing, and where it's going? Well, we don't uh, we don't know how much more Snowden has. Apparently, he's turned over the bulk of his. Uh, documents and most of them look like they're briefing slides and and point papers white papers he's turned this over at least to the guardian i don't know how much he's given to the washington post but certainly they're not as uh, open and releasing this stuff as the guardian has been uh but he was high level then this is like owner's manual stuff yeah he was kind of as like a system administrator security administrator so he had access to a lot of stuff and, um, it, you know, the Guardian, of course, is stringing it out and making a release sort of like what WikiLeaks did um, uh, with their with their State Department cables. But we, now we've got the story about the uh, bugging of the embassies, the missions in Washington, New York and in Europe. And uh, it's interesting. Uh, the, the Italians, the EU itself, their missions in New York and Washington were bugged. The Italians, the French and the um, uh, Greeks. But uh, the Germans and the Dutch and the Danes, who were also the third party allies of NSA, were not. So I think we're looking at basically uh, the northern European countries that are not having austerity problems like they are in southern Europe are the ones doing the spying or, 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 or getting you know, spot on. Or, or not but bottom line, on. this is big news because yeah. it shows for all these countries, it's their own scandals. What do you make? I want to play this clip and get your take on it from Meet the Press last week uh, with uh, David Gregory sounding like some type of authoritarian Muppet from a dystopic nightmare. Here it is. Um, to the extent that you have aided and abetted Snowden, even in his current movements, why shouldn't you, Mr. Greenwald, be charged with a crime? You're aiding and abetting the New World Order, Gregory. I think it's pretty extraordinary that anybody who would call themselves a journalist would publicly muse about whether or not other journalists should be charged with felonies. The assumption in your question, David, is completely without evidence, the idea that I've aided and abetted him in any way. The scandal that arose in Washington before our stories began was about the fact that the Obama administration is trying to criminalize investigative journalism by going through the, the emails and phone records of AP reporters, accusing a Fox News journalist of the theory that you just embraced being a co-conspirator with felony in felonies for working with sources. If you want to embrace that theory, it means that every investigative journalist in the United uh, that's States good. We played that before. Uh, Wayne, briefly, what do you make of, of, of this beating the drums to arrest American mm -hmm. journalists? Yeah, this same David Gregory, who was dancing at a White House uh, dinner once with uh, Karl Rove, who, who outed uh, Valerie Plain Wilson, who was a covert CIA agent. So he's talking about aiding and abetting uh, somebody, uh, David Gregory, danced with somebody who was uh, involved in, in, in leaking class. Yeah, so he's aiding and abetting. I mean, the whole point is yeah. everybody knows they're spying. Snowden did what I think is very patriotic for liberty worldwide. Yeah. He didn't give out the codes to the ICBMs. He didn't oh. ship our jobs to China. He didn't sell us out to foreign banks. That's the aiding and abetting. Briefly, I want to go to calls here, Wayne, of WayneMadsonReport.com. We have it linked up in your reports with all this breaking news, with the documents, with the spike story. Uh, the screenshots, while they're still there, uh, of the story they spiked at The Guardian and Observer at Infowars.com with links to WayneMadsonReport.com. Wayne, bottom line, he, I've, had the, I've talked to the people that have talked to the family, his best buddy. He says, yeah, they think he was killed. They want an investigation. That should be news. What do you think, uh, or have you heard from your sources on the Hill, uh, that uh, the, the uh, associate editor at the New York Times, Michael Hastings, was reporting on? Look, I haven't always agreed with Richard Clark, the former counterterrorism czar for the Clinton and Bush administrations, but he came out and stated that it's possible to um, uh, put a, a hack into the computer in that Mercedes Very easy, yeah. that Hastings was driving. Now, look, I'm going to be accused of uh, doing another conspiracy theory. That's the charge uh, uh, that all these sites but are making and all these people on the Internet. But let me say that I, I, I was in london and paris right after princess diana's death in the car crash in the tunnel in paris oh they remote I, controlled it i heard the same thing then and how many years ago was that so 
how old is the technology? Well, Clark knows how old it is. Uh, and uh, certainly that's that's what happened with Princess Diana. Yeah, you know, uh, yeah they could put a special box on cars that are 50 years old, but cars the last 15 years or so have the plug right in to totally control them. That's DARPA's own briefings since about the mid-1990s, so longer than 15 years. Uh, but, I mean, his family is out saying they think the, that he was killed, and then no media will touch that. Uh, yeah, I don't. I, I, what I know is the stories he was working on, he was working on a story about the former CIA chief in Algiers who was put in jail. He's serving time in Ashland, Kentucky, in a federal penitentiary there now. It looks like he, he spoke like five or six Arabic dialects. They got him on some sort of sexual harassment charge. One thing led to another. Now he's serving time. Uh, he was a, a convert to Islam, uh, an African-American, which is very rare to find with the CIA station chief, and yet he's serving time. So I don't see President Obama, our first African-American president, doing anything to help this guy out. No, he's just uh, making sure they increase forced abortion funding in Africa. Yeah. Uh, hey, Joseph. Uh, yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Hey, I was just going to say Hastings interviewed him <coughs> in his uh, jail cell in, uh, in, uh, in Kentucky. He was also working on a Jill Kelly story, the woman, of course, who was involved uh, with the email sort of. Uh, Absolutely. Let's just jam in a few final calls. You can cover this more tomorrow. Uh, Joseph, real fast question from Missouri for Wayne Madsen. Go ahead, sir. Thanks for calling. Uh, yeah, Mr. Madsen, Mr. Jones. Uh, I, you know, um, we, we know through history about uh, American and England playing the role with Hitler and Putin and such forth. Uh, the idea came to me, I'm a religious, I'm not a religious. Sure, ask your question, bro, we're almost out of time. Mm -hmm. Okay, what if all this was a setup, not Mr. Snowden involved, but religiously some believe Russia and China will come against America? What if this was all just to say, hey... Well, America yeah, no, our government shipped all our industry to China on purpose, so that is part of the globalist plan. Um, Wayne Madsen. Yeah, I, I don't think China and or Russia really uh, wanted to see Snowden wind up uh, in one case in Hong Kong, which is especially yeah. They, Russia's China told him get out. out. Russia said leave. Yeah. They already know all this, right? And you know, I mean, they don't want to turn him over, but uh, you know, the U.S. is like a little spoiled brat. The way we threaten countries with all kinds of absolutely. Let's take another one here. Uh, let's talk to Patrick in Oregon. Real quick question, Patrick. Sorry, I waited to the end. Go ahead. Okay, hi guys. Hey, uh, my question is, was, do you think Snowden is a real guy? I mean, do you think they just fabricated him out of thin air just so they can use this as a, as a I think he's real, I, but, but, but they're going to try to spin it the way they want. I think he's real. Wayne? Yeah, he's real. I, I, I uh, talk to a lot of people that know exactly where he's worked. Uh, uh, and, uh, you know, I know there was this idea that, you know, is he serving some other agenda? Uh, he just shocked a lot of people when he, uh, you know, walked away and wound up in Hong Kong. When that used to, that happened in NSA before, back in the 60s, uh, there were two mathematicians working on crypto codes that actually wound up at a news conference in Moscow. Uh, they were they were spies. They, they said they'd rather live in the Soviet Union. They were Marxists working on crypto codes. Can you believe it? At NSA, Martin and Mitchell. Uh, so, but that was a little different than this guy. They this guy's uh, a libertarian patriot. Yeah, yeah. Those the Martin and Mitchell were communists who didn't like working at NSA. Caller, do you disagree with that country. point? Do you have a point, Dad? No, I, I kind of agree. But what's the Russians going to do? Is Putin going to take his laptop and look through it, or what's going on? Yeah, uh, he'll probably take his shirt off and ride around on a horse. Listen, we're out of time here. In fact, if you guys want to give us your name and number, we'll call you back tomorrow when Wayne's on and let you have your questions tomorrow. The loaded phone's over there. If not, call back when he's on. Uh, guest hosting for 30 minutes to 3 hours with Mike Adams, noon to 3 Eastern, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central. Wayne, be safe. I know you've gotten death threats. We appreciate your courage. Okay, good to be with you, Alex. You're awesome. Great job to the crew. Great job to all our affiliates and our great listeners. Pray for this broadcast. Pray for America. Pray for liberty and a return to the Constitution, Bill of Rights, and what made this nation great and what made the world great. God bless you. Johnny Appleseed was born during the Revolutionary War. He's not just a legend. And in more than five states, he introduced apples that had not even been grown in the colonies. Later, the seeds from plants he planted and cultivated and some of the varieties he developed spread across the United States. And it was Johnny Appleseed teaching the colonists and then the new Americans after we won independence the love of planting fruit trees 
that introduced that idea to North America. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a revolutionary act to unplug from the television, to unplug from the computer and all the globalist propaganda and to go out in your backyard or your front yard or planters at your apartment or on the roof of the building where you live and to plant a garden. Become the Johnny Appleseed of your community with seeds from the InfoWars Seed Center at InfoWarsStore.com. The simple act of planting fruits and vegetables and then tending them and taking care of them and then sharing them with friends and family is a revolutionary act against tyranny. The globalists, first and foremost, do not want us to be self-sufficient. The crony anti-free market capitalist, the fascist, are using socialism and collectivism to shut down societies. Stalin in Poland and in Ukraine and other areas starved on record more than 10 million people over five years by not letting them grow their own crops and collectivizing them. Mao killed between 65 million and 80 plus million people doing this same thing. The UN says they will use food as a weapon. They use genetic evil to attack the earth and major GMO companies have been caught going into growth belts around the world, even where GMO is illegal, and planting seeds everywhere to infect the genetics of the original crops. Almost all of the thousands of varieties of Mexican corn has been infected. They are in a genetic war against everyone. That's why we have to get these seeds and not just plant them on our own gardens and not just give them as gifts to friends and family to plant spring and summer and fall gardens. I'm calling on you to go out into the green belts, to go out into the areas and plant secret gardens. No, not of marijuana, but of the hundreds and hundreds of incredible high quality uh, vegetables and herbs and fruit plants that are here. Lemons and oranges, the list goes on and on. They will grow uh, plum trees, grape trees. They will grow almost everywhere in the U.S. We can literally, not just buy in these products from InfoWarsStore.com, but from wherever you get them. This aggressive program literally just came to me one morning when I woke up about 4 a.m. realizing that we've got to counter their genetic war against us with original real crops developed over eons on this planet. We have the lowest prices we bought it in the biggest bulk that some of these companies have ever seen to ship this directly to you from the InfoWars Command Center. We stand for life. We stand for liberty. We stand for self-sufficiency. Go to InfoWarsStore.com, click on the Seed Center, and as of taping this, we have the seven top respected brands. We intend to continue to do research and find other companies, other specialties, other varieties to really take action. The InfoWars Store Seed Center has the largest online selection of heirloom, non-GMO seeds. Check out these products from our newest supplier, Heirloom Organics. The Medicine Garden for a natural remedy. The Tea Garden that contains every important tea herb you can grow. Fruit lovers with 12 varieties. And the Tobacco Pack, additive and pesticide free. Join the gardening revolution today at InfoWarsStore.com. This is a revolutionary action we're asking you to take. Plant seeds everywhere today. Nurture them, bring them to fruit, and pass on the knowledge to others. Become human again. Discover your roots in the soil. And remember, the revolution against tyranny is growing.